lovelies! Merry Christmas to all of you who are celebrating it today. I'm super excited to film this video. I think this is like third or fourth year that I'm filming it in a row. And I'm kind of happy as well to show you myself in a little bit more presentable state than these previous days since I was pretty ill. If you followed my vlogmas then you know that. I'm still kind of recovering but my mom's doing a really good job in making me feel better so a thumbs up for that. Thank you mom. I wanted to film a very quick video showing you what I unwrapped today under the Christmas tree. I'm very very excited because I've received some amazing gifts and actually this video is not going to be that long because throughout the month I've been showing you all sorts of gifts that I've been receiving. Um, I think pretty much since the beginning of Vlogmas I've shown you a lot of gifts that I got. I got pretty spoiled this year, must have been pretty good. Um, but in all honesty, I'm very, very grateful and whenever anyone would ask me what I want for Christmas, I would always say like just like Christmas movies or pajamas, socks or just like spending time with loved ones because I think that that's the only thing that I'm really, really missing out on this whole year um, and that's my favorite thing in the whole universe. So yeah, uh, without being too soppy, I'm gonna go straight into showing you what I received this Christmas. So yeah. I'm not gonna say what I got from whom, but I'm gonna show you everything. So I wanted to start with these. Ooh, is this one not way around? No, this is the one that's not way around. I got these like um, kind of Christmas mugs. I love mugs so much. I kind of collect them, but now I got a ban. My sister said I'm not allowed to buy any more because I have way, way, way too many. I have a T and a K, and these are from Anthropology. I love them. They're like white, kind of funny shaped, and have golden dots that look like snow and have my initial on it. I really, really like these. I think they're so cute and can't wait to drink like hot chocolate with marshmallows, cream or tea at the moment because I'm still recovering. So love them so much. Actually, we got these uh, for everyone in my family and I plan to get them for a few other people for Christmas and New Year's Eve as well. As I've already said before, uh, in Serbia we celebrate Christmas on 7th of January, which is kind of great as well because it leaves me a lot of time to buy gifts for my friends and I can even maximize sales a little bit as well, uh, which is cheeky but I love it. The next gift is something that I actually quite specifically <laughs> asked for and it's this set over here. This is basically um, like candle wick scissor thingy bob so you cut your um, candle wick with this and this is what you um, instead of blowing out a candle you can just like cover the wick with this and then you can use this to shorten the wick that's my favorite thing well not the favorite thing but the biggest thing I hate using like scissors because then they get black so it will be quite nice to have specialized uh, wick cutter and this one is in rose gold and I really really like it it's been our family tradition ever since I known for myself to get pajamas for New Year's Eve. Both my sister and I would always get matching ones from our parents and they would always always be Benetton ones. I don't know why, probably because we lived in Serbia and those ones would be usually the best. They're always like cotton and really nice, like with, usually with like Disney characters or colorful and fun. And this year we also got my sister and I matching pajamas from Benetton again and it's with like a fairy bearing gifts, quite cute one again, and like grey bottoms, and then it's like a fairy pyjama bringing gifts. I find it to be quite funny actually. I think my sister picked this, like a little bit questionable choice on her behalf, but I love pyjamas. Uh, my favorite thing that I received for sure would be, um, this is kind of like a bottoms. I guess, like a bottom tracksuit, but also can be used as pajamas. And it's like a cashmere beige pajamas with this like um, silk bow at the top. I love this so much because I love living in like cashmere tracksuits or pajamas and things like that. I love cashmere so much. That's something that I learned from my mom, I guess, growing up. I'm gonna unbox the Louis Vuitton thing now that I haven't shown you before. I obviously know what's inside. I mean, I've opened all of these things and I know what's inside everything, but this bit is something that I was kindly, kindly gifted from the lovely Louis Vuitton team and they invited me to choose something for Christmas, so I did. And what I've got in here is not a classic piece, it's a runway piece, which means that it's quite out there and I'm sure not many, not everyone is gonna love it, it's gonna be either a loved or hated thing, you know, but I'm gonna use them a lot throughout the fashion month and I'm very excited. As you can see, it's kind of a pair of shoes, very obvious. 
cannot wait to show you. So, I went for these kind of like cowboy boots, which are black and monogram, as you can see in the front. They're called Fireball, and I love them so much. They're basically the eat boots of the season. They're incredible. When you put them on, they just look so fierce. And I'm honestly, honestly obsessed. I think Fashion Month, these will be my best friends, and I cannot wait to wear them more. I have quite a few pairs of Louis Vuitton shoes, and these are gonna be very, very worn. They're all very comfortable. They're all, all, all very, very useful for me. I wear them all a lot. And I'm so happy that I got my hands on these because I don't have a single pair of like typical runway Louis Vuitton shoes. You know what I mean? Next up, I'm gonna show you a little piece of jewelry that is in here. I actually received these are like the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest earrings, so you're not even gonna be able to see them. Um, two Maria Tash uh, gold and diamonds. I don't know if you can really see a little hoops for because I have like three. I have three, two holes on here and three piercings on here. So I'm gonna use them for the second one each, where I anyway have like just like a standard gold hoop, but I'm gonna have this gold with all diamonds over it, and I really, really love it, such a generous gift. Beautiful, they glow so beautifully uh, when they're put in. I'm gonna um, try them on a little bit later, cannot wait. This is so amazing. So I'm gonna put it in here. Maria Tash just has such a great, great, jewelry. Then every year I get a ton of my favorite chocolates. Mercy are by far my favorites. I also love After Aid, which I got as well this year, and also something that I am obsessed with and I'm literally gonna start digging into as soon as this video filming is over, are these Raffaello. I love coconut in general and I find these quite hard to find in England. Like, I feel that Ferrer Rocher are much easier to find than these, and these are my favorite, so I'm very, very happy to have received these. Such a total gift. I love chocolate. This is, like, honestly what makes me happy any time of year. This and Kinder Surprise, like the Kinder Eggs, this is it. My life's made. I received a book as well, which is in Serbian, and it's called Da Virgena Jadna Haljina. Uh, it means nine women, one dress, and it says... Oh, and there's, like, a quote by uh, Yves Saint Laurent. And it says, on a dress, the most important thing is the woman that's wearing it. I am very excited. It's, it looks like this is kind of a novel, uh, like a fun, kind of easy one to read, which is really nice that I'm going to read it while I'm ill in bed. So at least something to do. Then I got like a bunch of pink towels. So um, like literally there's a huge bunch of towels because I never, ever, ever uh, have towels. And well, I do, but they're kind of like... They somehow, I don't know what I do to them basically, I guess, I'm, I don't know, it's a long story, but I love having pink towels because then I always know that they're mine and when I have guests over it's always very very easy for me to give them different towels to mine, I like to differentiate them and stuff like that, um, but yeah, this is a really really kind gift, I love practical gifts like this because I would never think of actually buying towels and I asked for towels for such a long time and now I finally got them, so very very happy about that another thing that people usually don't like receiving except for me are socks and I'm so happy that I got some socks for Christmas these are so cozy and so Christmassy and I really like them I basically was begging for socks because for some reason socks never make it to my wardrobe from washing to my wardrobe I don't know where they get lost but somewhere en route to my wardrobe they basically get lost so I never have enough socks so got some socks as well which is what makes me very happy. Um, my sister and I were just thinking, like, thinking this morning, like, when I was younger, when I was a student, I had so many dreams and wishes what I wanted to get for Christmas. Like, I always wanted iPods and iPads and all of these, like, expensive things, Louboutins, I don't even know what. But now, I actually, all I want are, like, socks, towels, pajamas. Um, like a bathrobe. My sister actually got me as well. You've seen a bedding, which is what now my favorite bedding that I own is the peachy pink one that I've shown you at the beginning of Vlogmas. She just told me that she's gonna give it to me as an early Christmas gift. Um, so I love practical gifts like that because I never get a chance to buy those and I always need them. I have one more gift to show you and it's pretty spectacular, amazing gift that I of course ripped apart open and I'm gonna show it to you now. I feel like every year there's a Chanel 
baby that I receive and this year is no different. I feel very very spoiled and very grateful for this, of course, it's something amazing and something that I couldn't wait when I like started un unboxing it, like Chanel had like a navy velvet Christmas wrap this Christmas and this is pretty spectacular, so I'm gonna show it to you right now. I have to warn you though, it's not a very classic item, again, I feel that my fashion appetites have like changed a little bit since I started uh, YouTubing or blogging or whatever, but that's just because I feel like I have already a lot, I've collected a lot of items so I don't really need those classic pieces, I want more of like a catwalk and more of like fashion pieces that are more of statement, so I'm welcoming in my collection Gabrielle Chanel which is this beautiful handbag as you can see it is the red I wish it wouldn't reflect so much it's like a red leather with tweed like a kind of colorful tweed and then it has so Gabrielle is what I love about it the most is that when you wear it it has like gold and silver chains so when you wear it you kind of wear it like this and like this, I can't really show it to you now, and then you can wear it crossbody. Does that make sense? I don't know. I really really love it. It's a beautiful bag. Obviously it doesn't match this sweater in no way. I love the tweed. It's such a beautiful beautiful work. I love that it has this kind of like Chanel um, logo on the zip. When you open it, it's still full of tissue paper. Ooh, Inside it has like a little thing where you can hook probably like I don't know, maybe even a wallet or keys or things like that. It has a back pocket over there, can you see that? And then on this side it has two pockets, like one is for lipstick and one is maybe for a phone or something like that. Since I love, love Chanel tweed and I love um, red and I don't actually have many red bags, I think this is something really perfect and I cannot wait to wear it throughout winter, summer, any kind of season because I think it's such a bag that you can wear anytime. I love it and I think it's such a Christmassy thing, right? Like I feel that the colors are so Christmassy so this this completely like made it. I'm so happy with it. Um, and yeah, with that I think I can finish this video. I think I've shown you everything. I hope I haven't forgotten anything because I would hate myself if I've forgotten someone's gift. I basically gather them all up here on my bed to show them to you but if I forgot... Oh yeah, I have forgotten something. I also got a pair of slippers but they were on my feet. Basically I had like similar ones to these from Victoria's Secret Navy last year and I just asked my sister can I have a new pair because I really want a new pair and now they're on my feet. I love them so much. Like I told you, I love a practical gifts. I never ask for like luxury stuff anymore. I just want like slippers, pajamas, socks, towels, and mugs. Those are my favorite things to receive as well as chocolates, which I'm gonna go into. I'm eyeing them up right now. Um, thank you so much for watching, you guys. Thank you for following throughout this vlogmas. I'm gonna still try and film as much as I can um, this year, next year. I'm gonna try and maybe introduce weekly vlogs because we're done with vlogmas now. And let me know what else you would like to see. Let me know what you received for Christmas because I'm so, so, so nosy. And once again, I wish you happy holidays. I hope you spend them with your loved ones. And remember, it's not really about material stuff. It's about the moments that we share. And um, this is just a bit of fun for everybody. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!